that's, I don't know. That's a little bit of a rant. But I definitely fear the money, you know, the money sharks coming after me at any time. They can like come in and be like, you owe me this. And then I'll be like, I'm sorry, I got nothing. And then what? Low battery. And then I'm like, take everything, take everything. But then I don't want them to take everything. Wait, so let me ask you something. Since we've met, what have you learned about communication that gives you a more optimistic outlook for the future? Um, oh, finally, like I can put, I felt like as soon as we met, I felt like I've like, that's the answer. That's it. This is how I can get all these feelings out because I feel all these feels around communication, but I'm always left disappointed. So for an example, you really hurt my feelings today. Oh, great. Try saying that to someone. Oh, well, I hurt your feelings. Well, you hurt my feelings. Or it's like a whole other thing. Well, maybe you've got this inside of you that makes you feel hurt. It's like, well, you know, maybe you could just listen to me and you'll understand that this is kind of what happened that you did and this is what I did. And we're both, you know, in the wrong or the right in both ways. But why can't we talk about this shit? It makes no sense. We don't have the right human relationships. We cannot communicate with each other in a normal fashion where we don't think of egos and all these other different things that are like standing in the way of like, oh, my life and this and this, individualization. Like everything's so linear. It's not, it's not linear. Nothing is. This is kind of linear, but, but there's so many different aspects of this. I guess all the lines would make up, would turn into something. But it's, not, it's not the point. The point. the point is I have learned that I have I can put a word to this like hey we're having a conversation and then you just switched it and you just started talking about something linear or something you know like that would be what would that be Elijah that would be like conversation type transition from one to the other from one to the other it's it's leaving the other part of the of the conversation and now we've developed a system where we actually have words for each of these things that happen. So therefore, when you're feeling like, oh, I wasn't hurt, or my feelings are still hurt, why is that? Oh, because you diverted the conversation to something else, or someone interjected, or someone or something else happened, right? Right, right, right. Um, not con continue your thought. We are not, we're not continuing and completing our thoughts or completing tasks or things. We're letting everything just kind of flow or not flow. We just like have a hard time going through <laughs> everything. And then in the end, nothing really changes. So I don't know. I think we're just really silly and stupid. I think okay, we're back, to, back to my original <laughs> question just because I want to keep this in a, in a sort of a direction of empowerment of, of has your communication improved in a way where you can see it continually improving and then ways to help other people to continually improve their communication. Hmm. Well, I think, I guess I feel less alone. Like I feel like I know, Oh, that feeling that I get every time that I talk about something and I feel like, ah, that didn't work or something. Even when like someone else goes into the room, I think you were telling me something about uh, how this one woman you were talking to and everything's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden a family member comes in and it's like the whole dynamic and the whole thing change changes. And it's because like, oh, there's like a family dynamic happening or it's like, um, just paying attention to these things we just don't do and it's really silly like I think it's really silly mm -hmm. because there's a whole other part of our minds that we're not exercising that we're not utilizing 
and we're not able to feel anymore. We're like, like making walls up inside this little tiny bathroom, sticking ourselves in a little tiny spot and we're not feeling safe outside of it. So we don't do anything else. Sit here and curl our hairs and look at our phones or something. I don't know. So I guess what um, the answer to your question is, um, I feel like I've improved um, in a way that I'm able to communicate better with people knowing that um, I'm not crazy <laughs> for thinking these things in a way. I, I actually, yeah, don't feel crazy anymore because there's actually a word and it's actually a thing. Mm. It's not like just me in my head thinking of all this, right? Mm. Thinking of all these extra things that are going on all the time where I've, you know, I've known yet they're not talked about. So it's good to talk about things and it's good to have relationships and be able to talk to people about things and go through things together. Like if I have a hard day or a hard time, you know, someone can listen to me or, you know, and actually say something nice instead of like, well, you know, you gotta do this or do that or I did this or I did that. I don't know, that's good too. Maybe I'm just trailing off now. Well, sounds like the appreciation combo or any type of feedback or any type yeah. of interaction. Feedback, and those are all good things, but they need to be de delivered in a way where they're not, um, they're not, uh, I don't know. Everybody needs a different delivery, I think, really. Because everybody's gone through different things in their childhood. And I think that some things trigger certain things and talking about them can help getting them out, but you need to be able to go somewhere like with someone and like be vulnerable with them and let them talk. And I talk about it without, you know, judgment. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It was, I asked a very leading question. <laughs> What's that? I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not very good at definitive answers, really. Well, no, I, I love your answers, and I think it, it's very, uh, what I see this as is a, is a tool within the School of Conscious Communication to sort of reflect back to the world some of our experience, at least together, and I'm bringing the idea of these tools being helpful in regards to us sort of even talking about them or thinking about them. And you are, to me, giving merit to whatever the process is. Mm -hmm. Because only you can speak from your experience and only you can, like, if you have a communication system, if it's just me talking about it, which is the problem, <laughs> it doesn't work. So I'm supposed to be talking to somebody. And yeah, and actually be able to communicate with people using the tools, right? Right. And I think I can. Mm. Mm hmm so to me, you're. I think if it was a normal thing to be like, oh, you know, here's a card that represents how I feel right now, <laughs> or you know, like something like that, then if it was accepted, oh, oh yes, you're right. I wasn't. I need to keep myself in check, or I need to do this, or maybe I don't have time for this, and maybe we should do it later, or whatever, right? Mm. Or I'm going through a lot, and I'm sorry I just said that. Didn't mean to do it. I don't know. I think we could communicate. For an example, so I'm, I take care of a young boy. And he comes in one day and he's like, are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? And it's like bright and early in the morning, no coffee at all. And I'm in my pajamas and I'm 15 minutes before he even usually comes into the door. So right away, it like starts this like huge anxiety in me. And I'm like, ah, like I'm not, I'm not ready to go yet. I'm still in my pajamas. Ah, like what do I say? Oh my gosh. And then I realized like, wait a minute, not in my house. We don't, we don't do that. We say hello and we say, hey, you know, what's going on? I've got a lot of anxiety and I'd really like to go to school on time today or like before time. So what can I do to help you get ready or instead of this whole angst, angsty thing that someone else is projecting on me that I feel. So yeah, we can, 
be able to talk about it. It's great that, you know, there's a, a lovely child that is willing to talk about these kind of things. Because the next day we talked about it and it was like, yeah, this is the way I'd rather be greeted. This is the way we usually do it. This is the way that, um, that makes me go faster if you need me to go faster. You know, I need, you know, kindness and help. If you start putting like, you know, anxiety on me, I actually freeze <laughs> and I'll go way slower. So, and that person doesn't want that. That person's just going to get more and more mad, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, how do we communicate with each other in, your, in order to like start um, actually understanding where people are coming from, understanding what they're doing? You know what I mean?